Hey guys, how's it going? I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe and uh, practicing the social distancing. Um, I'm doing good. It, I can't tell if it's going to sunshine most of the day or rain some today. It's a chance of both, I guess, here in Southern Oregon. Um, trying to stay positive during all this stuff, and I hope everybody else is too. Catching up on watching a bunch of YouTube videos. Um, I did shout outs yesterday, so if you guys missed that, go back and check it out. Um, the kitties are outside right now, so I won't be getting interrupted on this video. <laughs> what I wanted to talk to you guys about today um we need this is a crazy time it really is in history this is going to be big history um uh, and tough uh, um but I think the best we can do is to stay positive don't panic and uh, this is a time that we need to reach inside and learn how to make do with what we've got um, be happy with what we've got. Be thankful for what we've got. Um, you know, inciting panic in people that are doing that and people that are not doing what they need to do uh, as far as social distancing, um, shame on you. Uh, this needs to be stopped, and I really, truly believe we're on the right track of stopping it. Um, so, you know, who knows? Um but all I can do for me and, and my loved ones and my friends is abide by the rules, try to social distance, which I'm pretty good at. <laughs> I'm out in the country in my van. So, um, yeah, I'm lucky that way. Um, and learn to make do with what we've got, like I said. And, uh, you know, it is scary. Um, but be thankful for our friends and family. Pray for the ones that are not doing well. Help in what, any way we can. Um, and right now I believe helping is social distancing. Um, I've seen on uh, a couple of reports that young folks are gathering up at beaches and stuff. Man, they just gotta listen. You know, I, you know, who knows, but I'm just saying, I think we all need to do this to stop this virus. Um, and we gotta remember, we knew this was coming. We knew how much, uh, the the people that were going to have it was going to grow once they started testing more. So remember that guys, we knew this was coming. So don't try not to get scared. Um, but it is scary. It, it is, but, um, we are in control of ourselves and our feelings. And, um, so that's what we need to do. Control the anxiety and panic. Um, and don't incite it on others. Don't push it on others. Um, so definitely, definitely find something to keep yourself busy at home, you know, uh, clean house, do some spring cleaning, whatever, uh, watch movies. Um, if you're home with your kids, um, do projects, teach them how to sew, teach them how to garden, teach them how to do things that are good for, you know, to, that's useful in life besides math and, and science and history and all that. Teach them stuff like that, uh, and their schoolwork because they will be going back to school. But, um, so, you know, we just gotta stay positive. What I'm gonna do today is do a little bit of deep cleaning in the van. I got some stuff I wanna move around. I'll do some clips of it as I'm doing it so you guys can hang out with me. I know it's kind of boring, but hey, like I said, be happy with what you got and what you can do. But, uh, anyway, so I'm gonna do that. I gotta go check on the kitties first, so. Uh, before I get started on cleaning, uh, they've been outside for about 45 minutes. I'm looking at them through the window, but I always go out and check on them, throw them a treat or something. So I'm going to do, did you see that? I just touched my face. I got to stop that. Even though I'm not around anybody, I got to stop that. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to have to tie my hands down or something. I think if I tied my hands down, I'd flop when I talked. I hope not. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go check the kitties, and we will finish this one. Hey, guys. You enjoying yourselves? They want me to put grass in there because I can't reach the grass through the net, but when I do that, they eat too much of it. What? What are you doing, Jacob? What are you doing, buddy? Uh-oh. I see him.
my goodness. I moved all the stuff on the floor. Look how dusty that is. That's what I'm going to clean next. Here we go. That's what it should look much cleaner. I brushed it all out and used vinegar water, wiped it down, and then cleaned it with wood cleaner. So, much, much better. So I'm putting my table back down. Sometimes I put it up as, as a table and use the bench seats, but I think right now I'm going to keep it as just one big bench seat. So I like it that way. It seems more roomy. Anyway, better get back to it. better I think makes it more roomy even though it really don't do anything but lowers the table so I'm going to keep it that way for a while I don't use the table a lot use it sometimes for videos but anyway I got a cat meowing wanting to come in so I gotta go do that guys be right back was all this about wanting a treat hey you want a treat Hang on. Okay, this was all about what's in my hand. Watch this. This is all, this is the only reason he wanted in. I give him treats. Now, Cleo, she's the smart one. She'd rather stay outside. But he's had enough. He wanted his treats. Anyway, almost done cleaning now. No, I mean, it kind of makes sense why you call it a cat tree, but that's the true reason it's called a cat tree. They're just hanging out in it. Little turkeys, I got their treats for them, and they crashed out. That one just, he's already started messing up the house, but he tired out once he got that dryer sheet. He started playing with it and passed out on the ground there. All right, guys. I think I'll let him take a nap. All right, got the cleaning done. The cats are taking a nap. I think it's a good idea. I'm tired. I need to shower off, though, first. I'm covered in dust from cleaning but uh anyway guys i've enjoyed spending the day with you and um, be thankful for what you got be thankful that you're okay pray for those who aren't and i'll see you guys tomorrow